All right, so today we're trying out some interesting things with spoons. Now these spoons are great for redfish, but the thing is, they don't make any noise. So you know what? We added a chatter weight on there to add some noise on the bottom. And then we also have some gold colored spoons when silver is usually used. Let's see which one of these is gonna change up the jetty fishing game. First thing I'm gonna throw is just my, uh, just a gold spoon, plain gold spoon, because I think I'm gonna lose a lure real quick. It happens a lot at the jetties, but a little bit about my uh, setup I'm using here. I'm using a few feet of 60 pound mono, 50 pound braid, 5500 pin slammer, nine foot rod. Let's see what happens. Let's go do it. Meanwhile, Jeff is trying to get a snag, snag loose. All right, Jeff already lost a spoon to the surf side, so I'm gonna go over the channel side. Only problem is we're gonna get spray coming over, which kind of is rough. The water looks really nice, actually. Nice green color. Yeah, see, there's water all, all over everywhere here. Woo! All over everywhere, he says. Let's see how many casts we can go before we lose our lure. Wow, it's a beautiful day, though. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Watch it. What are you doing, Mr. Pelly? It's really gonna be a struggle landing a fish over here. Wow. On the spoon? Wow, dude. Yeah, on a giant spoon. Wait, it's a sand trout? Yeah. That's crazy. What a badass catch, man. Dude. I would use that for bait. That's like the best looking sand trout I've seen. Normally they're all like bloody and... He's fat too. Red. He's been eating something. Yeah. It's crazy. Dang. Aw, oh, damn it. Freaking pelican, dude. There you go. Thank you, pelican. Good job, buddy. Good job, dude. I hope you're okay. Good job, Mr. Pelican. Good job. Very proud of you. Might have been a bite. Like broke my wrist, I'll tell you that. <laughs> actually, I got like two bites in a row. That was, that's uh, actually encouraging. It's encouraging. I'll tell you what, losing fish is discouraging though. You guys know the feeling. Or maybe you guys don't lose fish, maybe it's just me. Okay, okay. We're gonna land this guy for sure. There he goes, he's pulling a little bit. Man, just stay out of these rocks, please. There he goes, there he goes. What if this ends up being a gaff top? Wow, there he goes. He wants me off the rock. Dang, how are we gonna land this guy? Oh, it's a big guy. It's a pretty decent guy. Wow, this is gonna be so hard to land, man. Ah, he's going close to that bobber. He got the other bobber. That is so bad. We're stuck on another line now. No, Pelly, get out of here. Oh my God, you're so dumb. Dude, how in the world are we gonna land this? Here. Dude, this is too slippery right in front of you. That's a good one. Yeah, pretty good. Dang, it's gonna be so hard. Just give me a wave. Don't go that way, buddy. Come on. Woo. There he is. Oh, that's a big guy. Holy cow. Nice. Ah, dang, dude. I hope those hooks hold, dude. Those aren't the good hooks, really. No, man. Shit. Did you want to get the fish grips? You don't trust those hooks? I don't know how else you're gonna pick them up. Yeah, go get the fish grips, dude. Yeah! Nice, baby. dude. That's a big guy. That's what you wanted, man. Finally got the bull red, dude. All right. 
Goldsmith worked. Too. All right, dude, hurry, let's get him back quick. Right. Let's go, man. Goldsmith. Beautiful guy, beautiful. Oh, gee, things the wrong way, huh? It's blurry, it's, dude. It's all right. Look at him. The pole right there, man. He's facing the wrong way. Did he go? I think he went, man. Don't slip now. You have to be more prepared. Yeah. I should have had my fish grips on me. It's my bad. Oh, good little man. redfish. Good little redfish. Finally, finally got the bull red. Yeah. I've been searching for it this whole time. On the gold spoon, too. Maybe gold. Maybe. You think redfish like gold, dude? Dude, redfish on the three ounce gold spoon. I thought it would work. We might switch up to one of those other weirder guys. But, dude, that's the fish. That's the fish I've been looking for for a while. They do get bigger, though. Another thing is, I was not prepared for landing a big fish like that and getting him back. So we have our tools over here now, so we'll be able to get him back a lot, a lot better. That guy swam off fine, though. I'm just happy he actually did swim off. Now let's get a bigger one, possibly. All right, which one of these guys do we want to use? I'm thinking, I'm thinking the gold. The gold's working, and now we'll have a little bit extra noise right there. Oh, just got a fish. I, is it a fish? It looks like a fish. You got one, dude? Wow, look at that slick. Yeah, I just saw that too. I sight casted this red in that slick. Oh, really? Did you cast to it? I'm sure this is going to be bigger than yours, man. Sorry. We're going to see. We're going to see. Silver spoon. Oh, you think it's better? We'll see. We're going to see hey, which one's bigger. Don't let Cooper tell you nothing. Let's see if you can land it, though. Disappointed. Disappointed. Oh! All right, unfortunately, Jeff lost that fish, but there was a slick that popped up over there, and it, you could just smell it. It was pungent, and that's right when he hooked it. Redfish do make slicks. You may think, some people think only trout make the slicks, but multiple species do it. Now let's try out this chatter, chatter weight. Let's try out the chatter weight gold spoon. Make some noise down there. I wonder if this affects the action though. And the way I tied it up, I could have tied it up right here, but when you have more connections, you're just you're just making it weaker. So I figured I would just go hang it off to the side, let it chatter over here. Oh no! Oh, is this a rock? I got a rock! Dude, I'm losing so many fish nowadays. Oh my gosh, it's getting annoying. I freaked out a little bit, but it is actually getting annoying. The funny thing is, the, the only thing that worked so far was the standard, standard gold spoon, as well as Jeff got one on the uh, silver spoon. So, you know what? Maybe we should have just played it safe with old school stuff. Maybe we shouldn't have tried to innovate too much. It's just fun though. It's just fun. I'll say that. I'll tell you that. All right, now let's try the silver spoon with the chartreuse chatterweight. Wow, that's really loud. And we hooked it. I mean, we tied it up a different way. It seems a lot louder this way, actually. So maybe it's better. What the heck? <laughs> I knew I tied a bad knot, man. It just freaking fell right off. Huh. One more fish, man. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, dude, I got one. Wow. Are you this? <laughs> yeah, are you? Sand trout, second one. Oh, oh no, 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 no. All right, so I kind of rage quit there just because I broke off at the end, but it's time to go anyway. It's getting dark. Let's draw some conclusions. Is the gold spoon slash gold spoon with chatterweight useful or just terrible, just garbage? Well, 
this guy. Jeff caught a nice red on this guy, just a straight up silver spoon. And I got one on the gold spoon, but I will say something. I didn't get anything on spinnerbait or the chatter weight spoon, but that being said, we did have really nice water conditions. It's pretty clear blue water out there, so I think the chatter weight would be a lot better if we had some dirtier water. I think that's when it would shine over the normal um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, spoon. So, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna, I think we're gonna go get some food. Oh.